Do not ever think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ever putting you in an unfavorable situation to draw close to Him. What Allah has given you, your share of dunya, your share of hardship, your share of ease, Allah has given you the right slate so that you can respond in the right way. Don't ever think that Allah is putting you in an unfavorable situation. That's number one. Number two, the most noble man in terms of his lineage, in terms of his, in terms of his, uh, in terms of his pure nobility in the worldly sense and also in the hereafter sense, is who the Prophet ﷺ said is Yusuf ﷺ. Allah mentions about, the Prophet ﷺ said about Yusuf ﷺ that he is Nabiullah, the Prophet of Allah, the son of the Prophet of Allah, the son of the Prophet of Allah, the son of the Prophet of Allah. There's no man more noble than that. But subhanAllah, the ulama say, look, شَرَوْهُ بِثَمَنٍ بَخْسٍ دَرَاهِمَ مَعْدُودَ Yusuf alayhi salam is pulled out of a well, a slave, the one who's selling him doesn't value him, nor do the one who's purchasing him value him. SubhanAllah, he's the product of a transaction. He's, the, he's a noble man in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most noble lineage, a prophet of Allah. And the one who's selling him just wants to get rid of him, so he only values him at a few coins. And the one who's purchasing him doesn't see any value in, in, in him either, so he gives him a few coins. Yusuf is completely considered devalued in the worldly sense while still maintaining great nobility in the sight of Allah because this world and everything that is an indicator in this world is worthless to Allah. It is of absolutely no value to Allah. But here's the little twist I'm going to throw at you guys. Why in the world, why in the world, any of us living in this context that we're in right here, would allow ourselves the idea or the, 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 the uh, luxury of dwelling in this idea that we are in the bottom 1% of the world. This group of people that's sitting right here is of the top 1% in terms of privilege in the world. Yet how many of us in our entitlement look to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and are saying, why me? privileged in regards to our safety and security, privileged in regards to our wealth, because, you know, just think about where we are right now and what situation we're in. Why do we always assume underdog status when we're talking about hardship and ease?